if you're all in agreement about corruption, like c- corruption is killing the country, what are you going to do about it? And he's saying, you know, he says, he responds with anti-state, cor- anti-state phenomenon. Or, is that right? Some big brain words. Anti-state phenomenon. I said, what does that mean? You have France in this uh, documentary. Definitely. You have people that you crossed everywhere. And these politicians. <laughs> they interviewed politicians. You interviewed politicians. It was in 2018 around the election, right? And not just any politicians. 18. We're talking about Gibran Basil, Saad Hariri. Uh, who was also Nohad Mashnu? Nohad Mashnu was it Nohad Mashnu? Yeah, I didn't interview him. No, you no. didn't. Just uh, we grabbed that. We, yeah, you, that, we that's grabbed been grabbed, that. Yes, yeah. and there was also uh, Samir Jaja. Yes, right? and Masbah Jaisati, Salim Jaisati, um, Dr. Inaya Zadin, Muhammad Afnaish. Yes, and there's many more that I didn't put in the film. It was very. I was a bit nervous, obviously, but I honestly. Was I had set out my questions. There were six pages of questions, and for some of them, I had to submit the questions. But I, I, I believe that I had one chance, one chance. And like uh, Hariri, it took eighteen months to get the interview. Oh wow! Oh, um, you know, and uh, the others, like even Muhammad Fnaish, it took eighteen months. Like trying the year before, like from December twenty sixteen sending emails and letters to say we're coming, we're going to do this, this is, we'd like an interview, like you've got to warm them up. How did you up. pitch it to them, exactly? Uh, the happy... The happy vibe, <laughs> the happy, you know, happy go lucky. I Lebanon. thought I was doing a happy film. <laughs> okay. Uh, but then they, you know, the ones that wanted the questions, we gave them the questions because there was, you know, talk and definitely um, evidence of corruption. So... They were all happy to talk about corruption because they were all happy to point the finger at somebody else. Absolutely. And as you saw in the film, it's never me. It's always them or him or whatever. And so as you witnessed, it's shocking to, to see them so openly, especially Basile with some of the things he says. <laughs> it's yeah, it, shocking. It, like, it's very I, shocking. I actually thought he was a good guy. From one of the interviews, I thought, this guy wants to end it. This guy wants to bring down the establishment. This is our guy. Like, (laughs) yes. And then, you know, I dug in. And (laughs) And we see the reaction on your face. What did he say? So so he said, when you asked, what was, actually, I'm going to ask you. So what did you ask him? What was his response? I said to him, you know, um, if you're all in agreement about corruption, like corruption is killing the country. What are you going to do about it? And he's saying, you know, he says, he responds with anti-state, anti-state phenomenon. Is that right? Some big brain words. Anti-state phenomenon. I said, what does that mean? And he said, it means you can't have a state with corruption. It's impossible. You have to eliminate corruption. But... To this day, I still don't know what that means. Like, you know, I don't even think he knows. I looked it yeah. up. I couldn't find it on there. Like, you know, it's uh, it's just not a real expression. You know, what's great is that you 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 know you're not a media personality. You don't you're not part of a TV station. So when you said it's just one shot, you really went all out. And right now, when you're talking to us about these politicians, it's not like you're mincing your words. You just tried your chance. You don't care how they're going to react to it. And it's very liberating to a certain extent because at least in Lebanon, the media institutions usually try not to vex these politicians in hopes of having another interview with them at a later stage. Mm. Because as we know, a lot of our politicians say for a very long time in, in public office. So it's, it's, it's great. And, and right now, my question is, with, all, with this negative light, well, not really negative light, you just portray them as they are right you ask them a very simple question what is corruption they kick the can you ask them very hard-hitting corruptions you actually speak to Saad al-Hariri and you tell him listen um, you're pointing the finger at other people or you're pointing the finger at the ether but a lot of people say that you're part of that system and his reaction was you could see in his body his language hands. how he changed mm. his his hands started like fiddling around mm. um, is there a risk of this documentary being banned in Lebanon? We don't know by the time of this shooting, but so hmm. what are your thoughts on that? It's definitely high risk of being banned, definitely, um, because it doesn't make any of them look good. You know, the top notch. I say there's 
um, eight people in the clan that uh, because I throw Riyadh Salami into that group as well. Um, and, and it's not a, it's not as if I went after them. I just looked at who are those that are making the most powerful decisions and have the greatest influence. And you have to start with them because then all the others are just cronies. Cronies, exactly. Um, it, it was a bit nerve-wracking saying that to Hariri and I saw his eyes. I don't know if you, you noticed his squinting. eyes, yeah. <laughs> And he sort of tensed up a bit. But, um, you know, but this is the man you have to ask the question of. He's a prime minister. You know, he's running the government. And and, and honestly, I'm there, as I said, I'm speaking on behalf of the Lebanese in Lebanon and around the world. They don't have the chance to sit here in front of him, but I did and I had to represent you. I had to represent us. It was like I my role right now is the people i have to give the voice of the people to these leaders and you know i got pushed aside at the end by his you know media uh, advisor and you didn't say you're going to ask this question you didn't say you're going to ask this question oh wow <laughs> cuz we actually ran out of time cuz they'd given me half an hour with him okay and uh 18 months and, and half, half an, an hour, hour. But, but he, he loves Uh, making people wait, you know, when uh, he wanted to create uh, this government. He took one year. <laughs> and, he, and he makes people wait for interviews yeah. as well. Apparently. Yes. But we got to that point and the, I think somebody said, um, it's half an hour, do you want to wrap it up? And I said, if the Prime Minister is willing to continue, I'm very happy to continue. He said, yes, sure. And his media person, I'm sure, was going, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I got another half an hour so I could ask his Bala questions, I could ask other questions and she was not happy at all. Um, but anyway, that's what you do. You take your uh, advantage of the opportunity and you, you that's your last chance or one chance. And Did they tell you at some point, regardless of whether it's Hariri or Basil or, or, or whoever it, may, it was or Mohammed Tanish, um, did at some point they tell you that Please remove this question. Please remove that segment. No. They try to. Okay, they didn't. No, not even today when they knew that you're gonna release the. They haven't seen it yet. They haven't. No one's seen it in the government yet, except for Amn al Arm, and I don't know if they've shown it or talked to anyone, but no one's seen it yet. So, yeah. Yeah. So for, for people who don't know, usually when a, a, f a film is going to be screened or going to be put out in public. It goes through the uh, censorship uh, board, censorship, uh, you know, uh, section of the government, mm. and they kind of either they they ask you to remove sections of it, or they just ban it altogether. Mm. Are you willing to remove these sections? Nuts, <laughs> zip. They got zero chance. Okay. I mean, look, you know, I didn't make this film to become famous. <laughs>